All right, guys, so what you're about to watch is one of my first pips with Raven in solo raids. I'm not going to show the first two just because I really didn't understand how to use Raven. But with the third pip, I kind of got a little bit more of an idea of how to use Raven. Keep in mind, I wasn't able to use Raven to her po full potential because even as a support character, because she would die really, really fast if I put her up against any opponent in T4. This Raven doesn't have any defense and pretty much no health. So just keep that in mind. This is just kind of like a little preview as to what I'm going to be able to do with Raven in the future. Currently, I'm still working on the character. So maybe give me like two weeks and then I can start pumping out some really, really good gameplay with Raven. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the pip. Stay safe and stay clean. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you very much for watching. All right. So for this team, we're going to be using uh, Shazam with the Philosopher's Stone. And we're going to be using King. This time, we're going to use the Father Box because Martian Manhunter... That, that did not go well. His swipes just kept pushing me way back. And anytime I tried to push myself, it just wouldn't work. So uh, we're going to use the Father Box to counter that with uh, Power Girl. And we also got the Book on Raven to increase buffs. So let's see if that works out pretty good. I gotta upgrade that more. I want to power drain more. Okay, we got two stacks on it right now. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh my god. We have, uh, keep in mind, we do not have any sort of, uh, uh, any sort of damage on King of Atlantis Aquaman right now, because we haven't used any of his specials. Oh, I meant to use my special three right there, my bad. Okay, so here we go. Now we got a little bit more damage with our specials. And we got the darkness doing a lot of damage as well. Okay, we got to keep the stack alive. I keep thinking that the stacks are just going to go down. But that's not how that works. Once you lose one stack, you lose all of them. And I'm not entirely sure why we just lost all of our stacks right now. I think it's because of Raven's passive that heals her up. So, uh, that's a little bit weird. That's a little bit of a bummer. I don't really like that, to be honest. I'm just going to keep two stack. Uh, sorry, three stacks on this one right here. Try to see how much damage we do with the special two. Hmm, not that much. 500 grand. And we finish it off with uh, almost 1 million special three. Well, that went a lot better than Martian Manhunter. At least with the Father Box, I can actually close the gap and try to build some combos. Uh, but it actually went by really good. The only thing that I have to remember to do is I really have to remember that whenever I lose one buff of Darkness from Raven, that loses all of them. It's not like it goes down like, like maybe, I don't know, Black Manta. I think Black Manta does that, where the buffs just kind of count down. No, once you lose the stack, it's all gone, and you have to start over. Uh, that's probably one of the benefits of just using Raven 
as the damage dealer instead of using her as support which uh i think is what i'm going to end up doing just because having to tag in and out raven with her really wonky basics i don't really like it that much i don't like that i don't like her basics i think her basics are really weird a lot of people say they feel like martian manhunter and i agree but martian manhunter feels like he's got longer range so like again that kind of closes the gap a little bit too which is uh really good that's really good for combat pretty much